Welcome to another video tutorial. This video will be very helpful for those who want to analyze public RNA-seq dataset. So in this video, I will show you how we can use this IDEP website and can analyze public RNA-seq dataset. So for this, how we can approach to this website, you just need to simply go to Google and you just need to write IDEP. So when you will click on this IDEP, so you will see here this website. Uh, you can open and after openings you can simply go to this analyze public rna seq data set for nine species actually uh, it, this website has integrated nine species and we can select those species one by one according to our choice we can see here is human mouse rabidopsis e coli fly human mouse uh, rat worm yeast and zebrafish so for today uh, we can select rabidopsis so uh, now we can see uh, the list of those IDs uh, which contain the RNA sequence of Arabidopsis have been shown. You can also uh, search your keywords like for the time being I can choose Anther. So it will show you the Anthers. Uh, so it is up to us uh, which trait we want to analyze. So uh, let's go to our random page. Let's suppose for this case. Uh, let me go to page number five and we can see uh, here is actually uh, power dress mediated stone deacetylization is essential for uh, thermomorphogenesis in Arabidopsis thaliana. So we can see this is linked with a uh, uh, gene expression omnibus. We can also download the gene counts list from this website. So when you will simply click on this, so you can see the downloading expression data from DEE2 server. So sometime it may can take up to five minutes, but usually it will take not more than two minutes. Although uh, while it is loading, I can show you how we can download that gene list from that website. You can see normalized read counts of all sample is also have been uploaded with this uh, bio project as sequence read archive. So we can also download from the by clicking on this. But uh, because now we are using this website, so we don't need to access this one. So now here you can see all the uh, samples information have been downloaded and we can simply click on this download gene level counts for uh, further RNA seq analysis. So when you will click on this download gene level counts, a file will be downloaded. Yeah, you can see here the gene file have been downloaded. So let's access this file. Yeah, let's first take this uh, file into our desktop folder so that we can easily know where we are actually uh, manipulating. Here we can create a folder like we can name with ITEP Arabidopsis. Arabidopsis, sorry for and now uh, we can just simply paste that file here so because now we want to uh, upload this file uh, to our that website that is IDEP we can go back to that IDEP website and we can download our expression data here and we can download the experimental design file here. So for this, when we are usually uh, dealing with the uh, with RNA seq data, where the sample number are usually more than six, because here we can see uh, there are actually the eight samples. So we need to actually create two things. First is the expression data. Uh, we should have the expression data in the form of CSV, and then we should have a design file in the form of CSV. So uh, I will show you how we can um, prepare a design file and expression file. Now I can show you how we can create design file from that file which we just downloaded from that IDEP website. So we for this we can simply open that expression file. Yeah, we can see that file is open and we can simply just paste this title name into a new sheet. we can paste them as transpose so that we can easily 
manipulate them so here you can see the actually uh, name has a space and in the design file there should be no space otherwise there would be error while uploading to the IDEP so you can we, we basically need to remove this accession number and this space so for this we can simply go here and uh, go to data tab and text to column because there is a space so we can simply go uh, and bound, separate them and uh, or delimit them with the help of this space we can go next and finish so we can see now it's been delimited we can just simply delete this because we don't need so from here uh, we can also see what is the different different is one is col is different and pwr is different col and pwr is probably the variety name and other thing which is different is 23 and 27 so that is actually the time so what we can we can go here again and we can further split into text to column but for this time we can see uh, as there is actually the underscore between these all so we can select this and you can here simply paste underscore and you can go on next and finish uh, sorry uh, let me go back and make it copy paste so that we we should have the original file yeah so we, we can just simply uh, try to separate this one we can change the text to column go to next and we can simply delimit them with the help of this so now we can see the variety name is separated and the time is also separated so there are actually the two factors so we can delete this so now we have almost probably made it ready uh, our design file we can simply copy and let me change its position a little we can simply copy and paste here as transpose we can go back here and uh, here we can paste it as transpose so because this is variety name so we can here write the name as variety and this is the time so now you can see our design file is almost ready so what we need to notice that this this is the first cell of eight treatments this name should be the same as that file which we have already just so we can simply this copy this name and paste into that our expression file so we know that this is our expression file and we have just pasted we can simply save this because this name is exactly should be the same as the design file so now we can also save this design file as csv change file and we can save as design file or oh, we on the desktop we just save as itap so this was the actually uh, that file we downloaded and now we can save this with the name of design file so yeah it's been saved so let me show you again uh, what we have before uploading so we can see that the one is that expression file having eight treatments and we just copy pasted those title which we just prepared in the design file we can see here the it is again being mentioned that the, this first line should be the same as that our expression data because now we have prepared our design file and expression data file so now we can go back and go back to that idep website let me refresh first before uploading so now we can simply select the first of all we can select the best matching species because uh, we are dealing with rabidopsis so i can select rabidopsis thaliana and uh, here is the design file so we can simply browse and uh, 
we can go to desktop and ITAP. This is actually the design file we have just uploaded. And now we can go here and upload our gene expression file. So now we can see that the upload have been completed and the reading and pre-processing have been started. So it will just take few seconds and uh, so that you can, you can see now the pre-processing counts data have been done. And you can simply, you can see now our expression file and design file have been successfully uploaded and uh, you can see uh, the study design and this title is the same given without any space so now we can go for pre-processing so when you will click on pre-processing you can see the read counts given in each treatments have been shown and uh, you can simply go with heat map and because I have already made a detailed video about how to analyze uh, RNA seq data with uh, with IDEP uh, tool, so I will skip these parts and will simply go to this uh, DEG one file. Uh, so you can see here the automatic they they have created the three comparisons. You can uh, go here and uh, because of our priority and time both should be the factor so i have selected both as factor and which one as the reference so because i am taking col as the reference and uh, we can create the comparison so you can also click both if needed and you can simply submit and recalculate so and you can close this file you can see uh, the comparison have been generated at uh, differential expression of gene. I am not uh, going into detail of this video <coughs> that how we can process this data because I have already uh, already uploaded a detailed video about uh, using IDEP tool. So hopefully uh, now you can create a design file for any public data set and you can upload this to IDEP website and uh, for detailed video uh, about using further steps I have already uploaded so I have given its link in this video so if you have any further comments please let me know in the uh, comment section thank you for watching bye bye